Good evening. This is Los Angeles. Gang violence is on the rise in South Los Angeles. It is now the gang capital of the nation. With what we're now learning from authorities. 16-year-old Roy Crutchfield was killed today after a brief altercation with Crips gang members. Today we're going to talk about the Roy Crutchfield murder in 1974. <laughs> I never stopped banging. I, I started banging hard, then I got so hard that it was a shame. Mac Thomas was born December 14th, 1953 in Covington, Tennessee. During the 1950s, his father worked as a truck driver for Tennessee Growers. Around 1957, Mac Henry Thomas Sr. and his wife Clara decided to move the family nearly 1,900 miles westward to the west coast and landed in Watts, California. Mac grew up on 92nd and Juniper. And when he left Juniper, after staying there for so many years, he grew up with us, the pygmies. He the pygmies as well. So we all grew up in 92nd and Juniper with Mac, Melvin, Henry, his brothers now. Mac and them father moved him from over there and they moved down by success off of 103rd. And uh, Mac and his siblings, Grew up right outside the Jordan Down Projects, not far from Jordan High School. He wasn't kicking up nothing there. Well, he had a little crew over there. I forgot the name of that crew, but he left there after so many years that father and he went to Compton. They moved to Compton. That's when we came to CC Riders. When Raymond would go to jail, Mac would have the lead of that car. When the 1970s came around, Mac Thomas had control of his neighborhood turf, not too far from Lock High School. Mac will soon expand his leadership deep into Compton into the Richmond Farms. The Compton Crips will soon gain notoriety. Did the Compton Crips start before or after the Jordan Down Crips? Compton Crips was before. Uh, so Mac left around the time you guys were Green Jackets? Yes, that's when Mac left. What we did with the Compton and with the guys at Compton, we did more partying. I didn't experience a lot of gang banging, fighting with them. We did a lot of, they was the, they was the dressers and we did a lot of partying and skating. That was doing, we would go to Rosecrans during the skating era. That was my recollection of uh, Mac Thomas now. Mac was a straight blood killer, he, you know. He, he wouldn't drink red Kool-Aid, none of that. He was serious about his game, you know, and that's what page he was on, you know. And it wasn't an uh, a, a issue, it was just a beef thing, a turf thing. That, that, that was it, he was serious about being a, 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 a down the earth rip. That was him, you know. Just about everybody loved Mac, because he, he had that type of character. Mac, basically, they lived back here What's that called where all the horses at back over there? Wrencham Farm, that's where he lived. I, all I remember is they had horses over there. And, and Mac loved it. Mac loved it that show of pulling up on that horse. You know, he loved it that. He loved to pull up on that horse, man. That was his, that was his thing, you know? That was his thing, to ride that horse, man, and pull up there, and people look at him, and uh, hey, man, he, you know, because he had a Tennessee walker. And you know, Tennessee Walkers are the ones with that with that nice strut. Yeah, he was he was he was a cowboy. He was pretty much everything a man's man could be. You liked him because he was a man's man, you know. Raymond liked him because he was a man's man. What I encountered with the Compton Crips was the Rosecrans skating ring, and if they came over here, most of the time everybody came over here to the west side. As we got older. All the parties was on the west side, so we would go to the east side during the day to get our little cripping on. Back then, Chris wasn't really, we wasn't fighting each other yet. Wasn't really no beef. Clear across town, there was a 16-year-old guy from the state of New York who lived near the L.A. Memorial Coliseum and attended Manuel Arts High School. 
His name was Roy A. Crutchfield, born January 25th, 1958. One Sunday evening, August 18th, 1974, Mac Thomas and a few of his friends were cruising through the west side of South Los Angeles. Mac Thomas and company wasn't too far away from Manual Arts High School, an area heavily populated by Brims. As Mac and his crib partners approached 42nd place and Hoover Street, they noticed a group of people standing in a liquor store parking lot thought to be Brims. At about 9 p.m., a number of teenagers and young men were standing at and around the liquor store parking lot located at 42nd Place and South Hoover Street in South Los Angeles. Among them were Teddy, Patrick, Andre Holloway, the victim of an assault with a deadly weapon, Joe, Tyrone, Kenny, Terrence, Bernice, and Roy Crutchfield, the 16-year-old manual student from New York. According to the court report, a dark-colored Chevrolet drove past with several occupants, including Mac Thomas. In Tookie's book, he labels Mac Thomas a Compton Crip leader. As Mac Thomas and his crew began to approach the liquor store, they hit the guys up, making a C-sign for Crip, and bottles struck the car that Mac Thomas was in. The car proceeded down the street, slowing down at the corner, and two occupants hopped out the car, and came running back to the parking lot. The group on the corner was asked by the Crips about the bottles and if anybody present was a member of the Bram Gang, the rivals. One of the occupants from the car grabbed the jacket of Joe and asked him what was written on his shirt. It's unclear what was written on the shirt, but Kenny, Bernice, and Roy Crushfield came walking across the street. As they made their way past the Crips, the Crips hit him up. And Kenny must have thought he was hard, or maybe he was drunk. I was told Kenny didn't even gang bang. He had family to bang, so he was only guilty by association. Kenny just didn't give a fuck. He straight out told him he didn't care nothing about gangs, and proceeded toward the liquor store. And then there was laughter. Kenny was laughing his ass off. This is gang banging. This is serious business. Ain't nothing funny when I hit you up, fool. At this point, one of the occupants emerged from the Chevy, pulled a gun from his waistband, and tried to smoke Kenny, who by this time was entering the liquor store. The shot went through the liquor store window. Roy Crushfield fell to the ground. And then there was another shot fired, and possibly a third shot. Roy was fatally wounded with a bullet striking him in his head. The Chevy returned to the scene of the crime and departed in a northerly direction on Hoover Street. The two former occupants of the car also ran off in that same direction. The leader of the Compton Crips was taken into custody today for a shooting in Southwest Los Angeles. Last year alone, there were 452 gang-related murders in the greater Los Angeles area. Many of the victims were innocents caught in the crossfire of this war on the streets. The following day, on August 19, 1974, Roy A. Crutchfield was pronounced dead. 16-year-old Roy Crutchfield was killed today after a brief altercation with Crips gang members. The 17-year-old shooter was a student at Compton High School. He was found guilty in juvenile court for the murder of Roy Crutchfield and assault with a deadly weapon on Kenneth. And the cold part about it, he may not even have been a gang member. He may have been an innocent victim of a gang shooter, hit by a straight bullet. You give Matt Thomas Thomas a perform dog? Or yeah, a, or because yeah, statue? yeah. No, I give him that status. He got that status on the real. 
So we should go there and party in the farm. Let me ask you this. When Mac Tom died, when he died, as a Grandy or a farm dog? He died a Grandy. Mac Thomas was killed September 21st, 1978. A couple years after Mac's death, his parents decided to go back home to their hometown in Tennessee where they retired. And that's going to do it for this episode of Care Mac Videos. Be sure to hit the like button, leave a comment, and if you're new to the channel, please subscribe.